hello everybody welcome back to the channel it is your girl angel baby and i am back with another video please make sure you like subscribe and you want to hit that notification bell so that way anytime i drop a video y'all gonna be notified and also everything in this video is either alleged my thoughts and opinion and or my perception guys just when it seems like it couldn't get any worse with the diddy situation now allegedly it is being said that diddy's son christian combs y'all will be implicated in an up and coming lawsuit now i know i've been hearing a lot of things going around saying that this lawsuit was already filed on him i've also heard things about you know him being arrested and what i've researched and what i'm seeing is that this lawsuit is something that is in the works okay the attorney for this woman who is accusing christian of drugging her and essaying her his name is tyrone blackburn and he's also representing several of um diddy's other accusers now it's being said that diddy has at least five lawsuits y'all that are in the works and that's just what's public there's so much more that we don't even see like what we see is just a small portion i mean there's so much more that we don't even know about now i don't know in my opinion there's just something so weird about this christian being implicated in this situation you know as if like he did his own one-on-one -on -one, you know crime because that's what it would be i just to me i just don't know it just sounds like maybe this is just being thrown out there, in my opinion. Now, the only thing that Christian did say about this, he put a post and basically just said, stop the cap. Now, I don't know if he meant stop the cap like he didn't do anything or stop the cap that there is no upcoming lawsuit. See, I'm a realist. So I guess we'll just have to wait to see if something's actually going to be filed guys it's also being alleged that they have photos of this woman's injuries that she sustained from christian allegedly so if this is true they're saying that christian would be the second comb kid that will be implicated in a lawsuit this here is justin now justin is implicated in little rod's lawsuit now, Little Rod is alleging that Justin, which is Christian's older brother, was present during an altercation at a recording studio, which he is saying either Justin or Diddy allegedly shot a man. Allegedly. Now, when the raid was going on, Justin and Christian were the two gentlemen that we did see um, outside that were handcuffed, both of Diddy's sons. Uh, now, Christian, I believe, is Kim Porter's son, and Justin is Misa Hilton's son. Now, this is Misa Hilton. She is Justin's mother, and she's also a fashion designer and a stylist. And she styled Little Kim, Mary J. Blige. Well, she is furious, and she's even threatening to take legal action against law enforcement for the excessive force that they used against Justin and Christian. Misa took to social media to express her frustrations and this is what she said, the overzealous and over militarized force used against my sons, Justin and Christian is deplorable. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would have not been handled with the same aggression. They attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young black men is despicable. Enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young unarmed black men not make it out of these types of situations alive? And I understand exactly what Misa is saying because those are her sons or Justin is her son. Um, she's going to feel a kind of way. She's going to feel a way. And of course, she is going to weaponize, you know, the fact that they are young black men. 
But the fact of the matter is, and I'm going to say it loud and proud, their father put them in this situation. Their father is the one that put them in this situation. And to me, it's very odd that they were just both home and Diddy wasn't around and they both ended up in handcuffs. However, Misa is claiming that her son Justin hired an attorney who is investigating the use of excessive force, how it was unnecessary, and um, it was not required. That much force was not required for them to do a search warrant. Um, so yeah, and she also vowed to fight for justice and utilizing every imaginable resource to get justice for Justin and Christian. Now, it is being said that the fact that they went in there to Diddy's home so heavily armed means that they were expecting to find some weapons. And it also means, this is what they're saying, that there was some risk of violence that they thought they would come across when they were executing the warrants. They're also saying that Justin and Christian weren't the only ones in the house that were brought out. There were several people in the home that was brought out. But if that is the case, I'm wondering why did they only have, or I just seen Justin and Christian in handcuffs in plain sight. You know why they did that? In my opinion, I feel like they did that to lure Diddy back. Because how come they were the only two in plain sight being handcuffed? Those are his two sons. Because they know once that man see that, he ain't going nowhere. And in my opinion, I'm pretty sure that's probably what he's seen when everybody was saying that Diddy was about to take off and leave the country. But he's seen his two sons and he was like, I can't do it. That's just my opinion though. And Stephen A. Smith even got himself in the mix because he had a word for Misa Hilton. He basically just said that, good luck. You have no case. There was no excessive force. It doesn't meet the criteria of excessive force. Basically, they gently grabbed your sons, put handcuffs on them, and placed them on the wall. So, you have no case, lady. What do you guys think about that? Hey, I thought Stephen A. Smith was a sport analyst. I, I, I could be wrong, though go ahead and end this video i really want to know y'all's thought and opinion on this whole situation thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe till next time bye guys God, God.